Hey, welcome or welcome back to the Young Nomads YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be getting rid of all of our rust, which is so exciting. We've previously shared a video where we put thermos shield and got rid of the rust on the top of our bus. So I'll link that if you want to check that out after this one. But first up, we'll give you a quick tour, show you all of the areas we'll be tackling in this video and I'll timestamp them in the description. So if you want to jump straight to a certain section, you can. Probably most significantly, you can see that spot of rust up the top there and that filtering in underneath that panel it trickles down this back panel and there's a bit more rusting towards the floor so this one might be a bit more work on the back passenger corner of the bus we've got an old bog job that started to lift and you can see some rust there we've also got a scratch about a foot and a half long down the side of the bus just under the window it looks like the bus scratched up against a branch and that's caused some rust under the window there we've also got some surface rust on what i think are emergency steps they're located on the outside of the bus under our emergency windows but you can just see some surface rust on the edges there so today we're going to have my dad helping us uh, get rid of some of this rust. What's the plan, Well, So what's happened is the seal on the outside has come away. So the water's been coming in and going behind the seal. It's been coming through inside here and started to rust this out. Um, there's a little bit of rust in there, so our aim at the moment is to chop it back along here, along there, treat all the rust that's inside, kill it all, convert it back. And then we're gonna potentially just weld another little piece in there. We'll see what it looks like once we get that out, but that's the plan at the moment is just converting the rust that's inside there and putting a new piece into there. After grinding all this away, we found that there's a fair bit of rust in there. And um, we're just going to pull out the window just to see what the next step is. Just going to put these wedges in, put a bit of dishwashing liquid around there, and pop it out and send it up from the outside. window out and found that there's a substantial amount of rust going the whole way around. Um, we've ground outside already. Um, we'll keep going on the inside and just see what we come up with. As I keep going, you can see that rust has attacked this everywhere. We're going to have to keep stripping it back until we get it all. What's that piece there? Oh, well, that was the rusty part, so. That's going to go under there. Yep. And become the new flange for the window. Yeah, great. And Wall's got another bit which will go from the flange as well. A little butt into the back of that one. Like that. For the inside. And close off the inside bit as well. Yeah, great. That's what 
Sounds like a good plan. So what we've done here is we've chopped out a few different spots here, here, and here, folded up some new pieces. Um, now we've welded them in, um, just filling in all the gaps where the steel is so now it's fully structural when we pulled this out it was probably 95 percent bog um, somebody's done a window repair before you can see their welds along here where they've ground them back as well and then filled in with bog um, so we rust converted and then we etch primed on the inside and welded these plates in we just primed it with some etch primer just send it back before we run around with some paint windows in very happy with the end result and we've cleaned out inside all the window seal as well before we put it back in um, yeah it sits in there really nice now very happy with the end result um, we did buy cans of spray paint it was meant to be color match from uh, super cheap auto but I'm not sure if you can tell from that but it's more of an ivory white compared to the white that we have um, Maybe our white's not the original white, so I'm going to take it into a proper automotive spray shop um, and get some proper colour mixed up, and then we'll do a proper final coat over that just to blend it in. Um, but overall, very happy with the uh, whole process and the job. It's quite fun, actually. It's been a few weeks, and we've had a few rainy days since we've installed that back window. Um, we've still got a few leaks coming through. We're going to use a 3M product this time. It's called Auto Bedding and Glazing. Um, sort of like a mastic. Doesn't go hard, sort of stays a bit tacky. And it's designed for this purpose. So we're going to put it onto the, uh, the window frame and also the seal. And then we'll just use the rope technique again to put the back window in. We found a bit of uneven surface on this side. Um, might be just a bit of a dodgy bog job, so we'll rip a little bit of it off and see what we're dealing with. After inspection, it just looks like um, they've used a bit of fiberglass filler. Uh, it must have been an old repair. It just looks like they haven't resurfaced it properly, so we're just going to skim that down so that it looks a lot nicer and then repaint it. Here I'm respraying the back of the bus with some properly coloured matched paint. We've picked it up from Hames Paint, they're real nice down there. Our bus doesn't actually match the code that's on the bus now perfectly so what they've done is they've just hand mixed us up some stuff and just put it into it just a two pack uh, spray can here i'm resealing the back window on the bus just next to the door um, we thought we'd do this tiny little one as well just because we've already got the tube of 3m already opened
Found a little rusted out patch here. We've just chopped it out and formed up a new bit of steel. And we're just tack welding it in before we do a final coat of body filler just to smooth the final bit out. side of the bus there was a long scratch along here we've sanded it back to bare metal um, just put a layer of body filler over we're going to further that back and then repaint it down below there was a pretty bad dodgy bog job and over time it's just cracked and then started rusting rip that bark back markers dollied it with a dolly and hammer bringing the surface back to pretty much great um, <laughs> and then uh, we've just skimmed a little bit of body filler over that last little bit um, and then we'll prime it and then we'll paint it. Pretty happy with how these emergency side steps are turned out with that fresh coat of paint and that bit of rust converter as well. That's a wrap on this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we end up tackling a little bit more rust than initially thought we were going to with that back window. Uh, glad it's all fixed though and it was quite a fun little project. So more than happy to be doing it. We have no more leaks now after that second seal. Um, we've had a few little rain showers and also done a water test as well. Um, no more leaks, so couldn't be happier there. And just stoked with the um, just all the other little bits and pieces looking neat again. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video.